New at 10, a college senior with a life-changing decision forced to choose between the game he loves and an uncertain future. There are moments in life when the stakes couldn't be higher and dreams are either made or crumble. Tonight, KTVU Scott Reese introduces us to a student at Santa Clara University who faced a decision that would test his character and determine his destiny. It had all the makings of a classic feel-good story. Andrew Pappenfuss, student manager for the Santa Clara basketball team, transfers to a small school in Hawaii because he wants to actually play, triumphantly returns to Santa Clara a year later as a full-fledged team member. And then, just before his senior season, while coaching kids at a summer camp. I felt like I pulled my, my right hamstring and I just kind of fell over. And I was like, man, this is, this is weird. So I went to reach to, to try and grab my right hamstring and I couldn't move, so I'm laying there on the floor. I'm just like, and in my head, I'm just thinking, oh, I just had some freak accident. Somehow I'm paralyzed. Like, what, you know, what is going on with my life? What was going on was a seizure, seemingly out of nowhere, a symptom of an unthinkable diagnosis. A group of doctors comes in, you can see the concern on their face, and they're just like, you know, your scan reveals that you have a brain tumor. Blink of an eye, you know, you're going from, you know, a great, great time coaching kids to all of a sudden, you know, now you have a brain tumor. So it's, within a matter of a, you know, a few hours is, is pretty crazy. You know, we've had all sorts of injuries and afflictions and things happen because that's the human element, but this was one where it was a little, you know, a little new. But we were just all trying to patiently wait for what the, what the results were and uh, if he would even be able to play basketball, but more importantly, if he was gonna be okay. Doctors were confident that the tumor was benign, but just to be safe, it had to come out, which left Andrew with the biggest decision of his life. He could have the surgery immediately or delay it until after the season he had waited so long to experience. I probably sat on the decision for two months before I made it. I just kind of came to the conclusion that, you know, my, my longevity, my health uh, and academics are my first and then basketball is kind of third on my list. And, you know, I figured uh, what's one year of basketball for 20 years of life. So in October, while his teammates were preparing for the new season, Andrew had brain surgery followed by rehab, unlike any he had ever imagined. A lot of time just resting and letting your brain kind of rework itself. The thing about Andrew is that during practice, when he was rehabbing and all of that, he, he was really focused and determined to get back. And that says a lot about his character because saying you have a brain tumor, you know, you're not really thinking about still playing basketball. He was thinking about still playing basketball. Andrew being the type of person that he is, almost made it too easy to deal with because he was so overly optimistic and so positive in his outlook. Like, yeah, I know I got this thing and I got to deal with it, but no, I'm going to be all right. Andrew knew that by the time he was medically cleared to return to the court, his senior season would be mostly, if not completely, wiped away. So he set an ambitious goal to be in the starting lineup on senior night in his final game here at the Levy Center. We were all so happy. We knew he was going to be in the starting lineup. We were just anxious, waiting to hear his name called. Number 32, Andrew Pappenfuss. He was bound and determined to show everybody he could do it. And by God, he was out there starting against St. Mary's. How cool is that? The moment it was just so pure and beautiful. Nothing else on my mind. No worrying about anything, just, just being able to step out and enjoy and just go have fun. Did he ever make the most of that moment? Pappenfuss with a steal ahead to Clark. In his first career start against a heavily favored rival, Andrew Pappenfuss recorded two steals, an assist, and a rebound in five glorious minutes. And later, in typical feel-good story fashion, the happiest of endings. Final 10 seconds, Jared Brownridge. It was just the perfect finish. After the shot, I wasn't even thinking about the shot. I was just thinking about all the seniors, mainly Andrew. It's just something special for him playing his last game and going through everything that he did all year to be able to get the win here at home. To see it come full circle in such an amazing way, especially at home on senior night, you really couldn't ask for a better situation. It's a memory that I'll never forget. In Santa Clara, Scott Reese, KTVU, Fox 2 News. 
Well, Andrew and his Santa Clara teammates have at least one more game this season. They play Friday night in the WCC tournament in Las Vegas. Tip-off is at 8 p.m., and we wish them all the best. My gosh, I lost count of how many times I got chills during that story. That was just wonderful. Uh, I read something about Andrew. They say this isn't a kid who sees the glass as half full. This is a kid who sees the glass as three-quarters full. And everything he's gone through, and then to be able to come back and yeah. play the game and living life to the fullest. And listening to his dad say, hey, how cool is that? He's out there starting. That's and just that's inspiration, awesome. yeah.